Well, I've selected a few tunes to use in my remix and I'm just going to show you some of the steps involved. First I'm going to have to bring up the Media Explorer and I've got a folder here with a few different songs I reckon might work fitting together. I think I'm going to grab, there we go. I think I'll grab the first four bars of Uptown Funk. So I'm going to drag it in and what I'm going to do is zoom right in I want to make uh, my loop start and finish exactly on the bar lines so I've come in I'm going to get rid of the snap on a Mac it's option S there's probably like a alt S or something on Windows shortcut and you see there where the there's a zero crossing where the sound just before it starts is where I want to split this clip so I'm clicking here and I'm hitting S getting rid of that start bit I'll zoom out drag it back to the start and what I want to do is get four bars or eight bars of this clip so let's hit play and have a listen so that note there is where the guitar comes right in on beat one and the bass so I'm going to uh, come right in here and split that right before that note. A little bit of noise there, I don't know what that is, so we'll just get rid of that. See those little noises? Don't think we need that. So I'll zoom back out again. Now that's enough of that song, I'm going to actually just delete the rest. The thing is, that actually is in the background. Um, like this is a non-destructive editor so if I want to make a loop I have to do something called gluing so I'm going to undo what I have to do is tell it that I'm not interested in all the uh, stuff before and after what I've isolated so I'm going to right click glue items important step now when I drag to the right you will see how it's actually made a loop instead of actually extending um, the hidden information it's now looping so I'm gonna what I have to do is now make sure that this loop that I counted out four bars but right now it doesn't quite line up with uh, bar five here uh, but we want it to match our tempo map in Reaper so I'm gonna I know it has to hit bar five here I'll turn snap back on and what I'm going to do is hold ALT and you'll see the cursor change to that hand when that happens you're actually going to stretch the audio and I'm going to stretch it right to beat 1 so now it should line up great so now I've got a perfect 4 bar loop and I'm going to actually extend the right which will just loop it over and over I'm happy with that as my baseline. What the next step is to think, all right, what's a song that will fit in with that? And I've decided that uh, get on the good good foot. So I like the um, horn part in this, and it happens to be in the same key of D minor. So I'm going to just solo it for a second. So right here, I was watching that carefully to see where beat one is. So watch this. That there is beat one. So I'm going to zoom in. I am going to turn off the snap because it won't let me uh, highlight exactly where I want. So turn off the snap to grid. Come in here and we'll zoom in a bit better, a bit closer and the zero crossing right before the sound hit S for split delete the unwanted info zoom out and drag it back to bar one I just like to keep things clean now we've got rewind it
This here, where I stopped it, that's beat one of the next bar. So I can split it right here and get rid of the second half of that. Now, if I play them together, <coughs> excuse me, if I play them together, you'll notice that they don't actually line up at the moment. I don't know how well you can hear that uh, with my current setup, but look here, this is where the Mark Ronson one bar five is, but the get on the good foot, it's a bit longer. So I'm gonna hold Alt, do the Alt drag, although I have to turn snap on, then it will snap it to the bar line for me. Drag it over, now the tempos should line up beautifully. I might decide, hey, it's a bit fast um, for get on the good foot, why don't we slow it down to 110 and see if the um, Uptown Funk bass line still sounds good at that tempo. Sounds pretty good to me. So what I'm actually gonna do is make sure Snap's on and say, hey, what about we just bring that in after five you know, in the fifth bar. 